Hi, this is Dr. Rita Marie Loscalzo. Welcome to the Fresh and Fun Living Creating Vibrant Health video series. All right, so let's talk about omega-3 fatty acids. It's really important to get these fatty acids in your diet on a regular basis because they're not, they're, your body can't make them. And the foods, they're not as abundant in the food supply as say the omega-6 fatty acids are. Um, the omega-6 fatty acids are available in all kinds of nuts and corn and uh, soybeans and, and all over the place. The problem we run into is that there's so much of the omega-6 and not so much of the omega-3 that we end up with an imbalance. And it's really important to concentrate on getting foods that are high in the omega-3 fatty acids. And just as an aside, you know, the omega-3 the, the omega and the 6 fatty acids are important for our body in uh, making anti-inflammatory chemicals that we need to keep it balanced. So a uh, lot, most disease is caused by inflammation. And when we get out of balance with the omega-3s and 6s and um, some of the inflammatory fats, we can end up with conditions that don't clear up. And the omega-3s are really super important in inflammation. So there's several ways that you can get them from a, a raw foods diet and a vegan diet. And those are through the seeds. And the seeds that are the highest concentrations of omega-3 are flax seeds. And flax seeds have gotten a lot of attention over recent years. Um, there's all kinds of flax seed muffins and pies and cakes and things. People are adding them to all sorts of foods. But the thing you have to keep in mind about omega-3s is they need to be low temperature. When you bake with omega-3 things with omega-3 fatty acids, you create oxidation of the fats and that creates free radicals which is damaging to your tissue so you want to eat these at a low temperature and the best way to do flax is to grind them and put them on salads or to um, make crackers out of them and put them in the dehydrator at a low temperature and you can make some amazing things with them um, another seed that is just starting to get popular these days and i've been using it for many years it's called chia seed it's this tiny little seed you can barely see when you lift it up, but they all come together. And, and the beauty of the chia seeds is that in addition to the omega-3 fats, they're, they've got a lot of good minerals and they've got a good protein content. And the Aztecs used to call them the energy seed. And when people were doing any kind of long distance training, they would have chia seeds. There have been a number of studies with athletes where they've put groups of athletes, say, on a chia, chia diet and non-chia diet and measured in terms of the speed and their endurance and their after-exercise um, muscle pain and all that. And they found that the, the group with the chia seed outperformed the other group overall on all counts. So really good thing to include on a daily basis. Uh, best way to include chia seeds, my favorite way actually, is to pour some water over it leave it sit for a few hours and it turns into this kind of pudding like gelatinous mass and then you can add things like banana and coconut and dates and cinnamon and make a really nice pudding wonderful they also make incredible crackers if you have a dehydrator another seed that's high in omega-3 is pumpkin seed and pumpkin seed is also high in zinc so it's a really good um, one to have to um, just to promote overall immune health and hormone health, et cetera. So that's pumpkin seed. And there's lots of ways you can do them. One thing is to just eat them. Um, and you can also make wonderful pumpkin seed pâtés and dips and even crackers with the dehydrator. There's some amazing things you can do with the dehydrator. And the last one that I'm gonna show is hemp seed. Hemp seed is quite delicious as is. You could just eat it out of hand. It's also wonderful sprinkled in salads. And hemp seed has a really good omega-3 profile, but also a really good protein profile. So it's a really a nice um, addition to anyone's diet. And again, you can make hemp seed milk. I've seen hemp seed ice cream. There's a local restaurant that just opened up and makes hemp seed burgers. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can do with the hemp seed. And uh, for convenience, the chia can also be bought in packages and it's already been sprouted when sprouting makes the, the nut or seed more digestible and brings out the nutrition more. And you can get them already sprouted and ground up in a powder form and you can add them to smoothies. And the same thing with flax. You can get it that's already been sprouted and um, we can take a look and see what that looks like right there. You can get it that's already been sprouted.
And one last thing about omega-3s, another good vegan source of omega-3 fatty acids is algae, blue-green algae. And this particular one I just is a, is a new one that's come out. But there's a lot of different ones. There's E3 Live and there's Klamath Lake. And um, there's no one that's, that I found. I haven't done the extensive research to find out you know, if one's better than the other. But if you're not doing any algae, I would say if, you're doing, if you get some of this into your diet, loaded with chlorophyll. It's got good omega-3 fats, and uh, it's just a powerhouse of, informa of uh, information. Yeah, that slipped out, but information for your body, information about how to be well and how to, how to have a healthy immune system. So, All right, so that's the scoop with omega-3s. We've established they're super important to get on a daily basis. They're super easy to get on a daily basis. I'd recommend you know, somewhere around three tablespoons. You can go a little higher depending on your needs, but on average, three tablespoons of one of the seeds each day could do it and play around and have fun with it because there's so many fun things you can make. And I've got a number of, of really good recipes using the omega-3 seeds on my dehydration um, DVDs. For more information, visit www.freshandfunliving.com. Thanks.